And here we are back again, and we're here with the Valley Artisans Marketplace. Well, this isn't the whole marketplace, because you'll see a photo of what that marketplace looks like. But with me, I have uh, Mary Lou Strahd, and you are the manager there, is that correct? I'm the co-business manager. Co-business manager, <laughs> let's get that straight. Yeah. And the, you brought a few of the items, and along with it, she's brought Bliss McIntosh, who was kind of the founder, is that right? I was one of many One artists, of many founders that got together. I began with with that group in 1981. Wow, that's been around a while yeah. then. Yeah, 37 right. years. And it's amazing, the artwork, uh, she brought a couple of pieces here. There's one, where's the, oh, the other one is behind me. Let me get out of the way. I want you to see this. This is really a study in shadow. That's what I would call it. I mean, that's really, the shadows on that are wonderful. Thank Who you. Who did it? Me. You did it. I'm, a, I'm an artist I didn't even well. know. Well, I, I knew you were an artist, but I didn't know this was yours. But anyway, did everybody see it? Okay, good, I'll get out of the way. And uh, is that yours as well? It okay. is, yes. Okay, good, and I love that. Summer and, and winter. <laughs> yeah, really, it does. Well, it looks wonderful. These are all nice. local yeah. places. Do you take photographs and then work from the uh, photograph? Most of the time now I do it yeah, that way. Yeah, I think most artists are doing location. that, yeah. Because location, the light changes. and It does, it's yeah. very And then it starts raining in the middle right of it, right? <laughs> It's and very challenging. Uh, Bliss, what, what is your art media? What do you my, my art are baskets. Oh, baskets. Uh, natural fiber baskets, black ash and birch bark. Look, oh, look at that. So, um, That's I've amazing. Been, I've been making, making baskets from materials that I gather from the woods. I don't know if you can see that, but look, I'm going to tip it over because I want you to see the inside. Can you see the inside? There we are. I'm sorry, I always say, you know, because your left and right on the screen is different than what you're, but that's got birch inside. This is just a beautiful piece. How do you even find the wood to do that? Because, you know, birch sometimes will, you know, yeah, break. Yeah. I, uh, I learned to do birch work about 30 years ago, and uh, I harvest from uh, Trees that are about to be harvested for timber. Oh, okay. And I go you can in the you just spring. take the bark off. There's a certain off. window of opportunity in the spring when you can remove the bark easily. Yeah. And and I they don't care when they harvest them. They don't care about the the, the bark on them anyway. No, they don't want the bark. Uh, I I only do it with permission. And yeah. One good sized tree will give me all I need for a year. So. For a year. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So and this this is and what what do you. This I'm material sorry. Is black you ash. know, I am just like so dumb when it comes to basket. We, I don't. I, I thought maybe that was like just like a, a plant or something, but no, that's the actual wood, right? It's the wood. It's the growth rings of the ash tree. And then you have to sliver them that, or make and, them. And uh, black ash is unique in that when you pound the log, uh, the growth rings separate, and then you have. Um, a flat piece. A flat piece that you can cut with scissors. You've transformed the wood into a fiber, and then you can weave with it yeah. like a fiber. Yes, yeah. And was it's thinking, a traditional art form that the Native well, the Americans The Native Americans used. have used for years. Mm -hmm. And they even get it so tight they can actually put water in them. Some of them, I understand, is, is so tight. Is This is yours, too. No, is that, no, no this is another that. artist. <clears throat> this is amazing, too. Look at that with the beads in it. I've never seen anything quite mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, she does. The, she calls it wicker work. Okay. So th this is the material that she's using for yeah. those it's rattan, baskets. Actually. Okay. And that's that's a material that she purchases and dyes and weaves with. So that's she a beautiful piece. Sky's the mm -hmm. limit with just, her just design. Yeah. And of course pottery. I've I've done pottery. I love pottery and I have yeah. a number of pieces that I've created. We have a and lot they're of so aren't they wonderful? Mm -hmm. I mean yeah. the the and what I love about pottery is that you can just do whatever you want with this clay, right? Yeah. The artist told me, I got the piece the other day, it's um, a wood-fired pot and the clay, I think she dug the clay herself mm -hmm. to make the, the pot. Is this Teru? So yes, yeah. this is Teru. Teru Simon. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. And, and you can put, you can actually put glass in there and when you fire it, it comes, mm -hmm. you have this beautiful shine at the bottom. And oh, Edgar Allan Poe would be happy to yeah, see this. He would. He That's would. a beautiful yeah. carving. This is C.J. Little from Greenwich. And That's a beautiful piece. Isn't that great? The raven. The raven. He looks like he's going to take off. Yeah, flight. he's just going to take off any minute. They're such beautiful birds yeah. anyway. But listen, the coup de gras here is that gourd that is amazing. 
can we hold it up? I, I'm we not can. even going to touch we it. Can. But it, it's a gourd, which has, it's like a dollhouse almost inside. Can mm -hmm. you, I think, you, yeah, there it is. This is made. Tired's Malcolm's camera. Oh, this is made by is, our uh, gourd maker, Chung Ah Park. She's Korean. And everything inside in the little room she made herself from scratch. And all of the there's paintings. There's little tables, and there's, there's a bed in there with a bedspread on yes. and little chairs. And mm -hmm. she, oh my God, this is wonderful. She wove the, the little rug that's in there. Yes, the, the rug on the floor is woven by her. She was a former weaver. <clears throat> and the paintings on the wall are all reproductions of Van Gogh's paintings. Oh my gosh, paintings. I'm looking, I'm looking. And they're I'm all looking over. for Starry Night. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's a, in there. There's but. a little chandelier. Okay. Yes. She's got a chandelier. Well, oh my gosh, there's a, a chandelier. It's a mobile that if you blow very gently through the window, it'll, you know, it'll turn around. It becomes mobile. alive. Yeah. Yes. That's just wonderful. And of course you have paper crafts. This is a beautiful piece. Yeah, that's fused glass. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's Cheryl Gutmacher. Gutmacher. The Ladies Got Glass is her, is her business. Oh, her name. Ladies Got Glass. Okay, good. And she's very prolific, does all kinds of work. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. beautiful piece. Yeah. So that's not dyed; it's actually fused. It's fused. Yes. You can little you see it? Look at you can bottom. see through it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a beautiful piece. Beautiful. You won't want to put anything in there. You just want to look at it. It's so pretty. And of course, these are beautiful. These cards. And it looks like that is relief, right? There's, yeah, that's. Well, it's. Or it's is a it a drawing? It's a, it's a reproduction of. No, these oh. are actual uh, dried. Uh, that's what I thought. It was, dried yeah. flowers and dried plant leaves pieces. and plant pieces. <clears throat> and uh, she has the originals in little pictures. Her name is uh, Martha Starkey. She lives in Saratoga. And she's okay. a, a longtime member. We'll, no, 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 right there. Okay. Wait. <laughs> There, right, right there, good. <laughs> and she calls these uh, characters that she creates from dried plant materials petal people. Petal people? Petal oh people, God. yes. And then this is lovely too. And is this it? looks like a, well, it is art. It's, draw, it's a drawing, right? Yes, art, <clears throat> a color art. drawing by uh, Lisa Winnie. Okay. Who's uh, another longtime member. There it is, I can see it. Yeah, you're, you're good. You're perfect. Good? It's perfect. Okay. Yeah. We, we've been a juried membership since the very beginning, mm -hmm. and uh, we've hovered around 30, between 25 and 30 members mm -hmm. from the very beginning. So these are not, and I would like to say, these are not crafts per se. This is art as far as I look at it. We call ourselves a fine arts and crafts Okay, all right. And, and fine crafts. Fine I mean, they're crafts. All, Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. It's fine. It's, yeah. it's incredibly yeah, well it's done. Yeah, it's fine is what yes. I would call yeah. it. And, you know, when you think arts and crafts, you're thinking of poster paper that you're cutting up yeah. and stuff. No, no, no. Yeah. This stuff, the, the, yeah. the, yeah. the art that they have here is incredibly beautiful. We have, I think we just counted up seven members that do two-dimensional work, painting. So we have mm -hmm. a lot of wall work. Mm -hmm. And we have, you know, woodworkers potters, glass, basket makers, Peggy Fabric. Gray. I'm also <laughs> wearing a, a Peggy Gray. You're wearing I'm a thing. I didn't know that she did quite like that. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, I, I like a, that. I have three of her pieces. Yeah, yeah. They're all our I like the way she makes the denim and stuff. With oh, it. and this is this is oh, a scarf uh, made by uh, a batik artist, Carol Law Conklin. So that's dyed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that's yes. a velvet. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. it yes. Smells like mm -hmm. velvet. Yes, it is yeah. velvet. Yeah. Yes. And I love the fringe on it. I mean, the colors are, are amazing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And this is what art is. It's like you ought to be able to wear it and look at it mm -hmm. and, and, and make it part of your life. It's not mm -hmm. something you go into. A, well, I'm not saying you don't go into a museum and look at it. But you want art to be part of everything that you do. You want it in your bedroom. I have art in my bathroom. Mm -hmm. Sure. Because And I have, you know, it's like, it's stunning. It's like, why not? Right. Of course. One thing I hope they aren't offended that I put it in the bathroom, but I love it there. <laughs> but I change my art around, too. We should mention that we're located in an historic opera house, Hubbard are Hall. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. And we are one of the ground floor businesses. You're in Hubbard Hall. We are. In Hall. We are. That. Yeah. That we've and always I know been where there. Hubbard Hall is. Okay. Yeah. And right next door to us in Hubbard Hall is this delicious restaurant called the Roundhouse Bakery and Cafe. It's been there since... Uh, July okay. of last year and so 
you can for go there someone nice you know treat. wants to come <laughs> and, and spend a day in Cambridge mm -hmm. they can come to Valley Artisans they can have lunch at the cafe go back to Valley Artisans and mm -hmm. purchase whatever they looked you know, at prior you know, to lunch adventures don't need to be off a boat or a plane you can have adventures locally mm -hmm. indeed can't you? Absolutely. And, and do it, do it, do it, yeah. do it. Cambridge has a great independent bookstore. Yes. Rat and Kill Books, and we have uh, a great food co-op, and then you can drive around the beautiful Washington County. Or take a walk, outside. how about a walk? Yeah. Yeah, in there. Yeah. Um, I need to say who's coming up on the show next week, and then we're going to come back and talk. Um, we're going to be talking about autism, uh, and that's with Angelo Santa Barbara. We're going to talk with Capital Repertory Theater. They've got Blight Spirit and Old Cowards play. Mm -hmm. It's always a treat to see that. And then we're going to talk about Italian Easter uh, traditions and pastries. We're going to be talking about the Repair Cafe over at the library. We're going to talk about women's empowerment with She's Awakened. And we're also going to have a little bit of a treat with the Thursday Music Group. So we've got a great lineup next week. You know, I love doing this show because I meet the nicest people. Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. I'm so happy. Um, so we want to encourage people to come to your um, to the artisans marketplace and um, partake in some of this and think about like wedding gifts. Weddings coming up around the corner. Indeed, art is just and especially like a dish like that to be would would be a wonderful mm -hmm. gift yeah. for a wedding gift or something like that. The baskets are wonderful. These can be used. These are utilitarian as well. Although I don't know if I want to put anything in it, but oh, you should. I should, I should. Yes, that's what, what did I just say? Mm -hmm. Art should be you part should. of your life. <laughs> Make it happen. And mm -hmm. on pottery, of course, you can always put stuff in pottery. And I love the, the this should go in a bookstore, I think. You can well, it, it actually life. is in my home. Oh, it's, it's in your home. Shelf, it's so yours. I get to okay. talk to him every day. You talk to him every day. And does he ever <laughs> quote back? <laughs> Once in a while. <laughs> Once in a while. And he says, never more. <laughs> <laughs> well, he hasn't said that yet, fortunately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but That's I'm so true. glad that you came today and showed us uh, some of these unique, I will say unique, these are very unique pieces. Thank and you. and you, your selection was excellent. Good. Yeah. I'm glad. So I'm going to have to come over and visit you guys and I have hope a, so. go to the roundhouse or whatever yeah. it is next door and yes. have a few of that little pastries Good. there. Sounds yeah. like a nice summer drive or spring.